So today I'm going to show you how to get started on essay writing. There are five stages of writing, pre-writing, drafting, revising, proofreading, and publishing or submitting. Right now, however, let's just focus on the first stage, which is pre-writing. So the main goal of this stage is to just get your ideas organized. So the first thing that you're going to do once you receive your assignment is to choose a topic. Once you chose your topic, you're going to choose your audience and identify the purpose of your audience is just the people that are going to be reading the essay. So the way that you might write your essay uh, will differ depending if your audience is an expert like your professor or if the audience is in high school or middle school. Next, you're going to brainstorm all of your ideas and make sure that you write them all down. And then finally, you're going to create an outline based on the ideas that you brainstormed. Let's say I have to write an essay. I'm going to choose coffee as my topic. My audience is going to be young adults. And my purpose is going to show that coffee is bad for you. Now we can start brainstorming. Brainstorming is a very simple and easy way to write down your ideas without worrying about grammar or sentence structure. I find that the easiest way to brainstorm is to use a mind map. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to draw a bubble in the middle. And this bubble represents our main topic, which in this case is going to be coffee. Then from the coffee, we're going to branch off into our main ideas about coffee and why it's bad. So in this case, um, coffee is bad for you because it gives you bad breath. It stains your teeth. And it raises your cholesterol. So now we have to expand on our main ideas about coffee and why it's bad. We're going to take this raising the cholesterol as an idea. So what we want to do whenever we're expanding on one of our main ideas is we want to answer the questions how and why. So in this case, our how can be answered through mechanisms by which coffee raises cholesterol. So these sort of supporting uh, points or supporting evidence that branch off of our main points can be more elaborate and they can be more in detail. But just for the purposes of this example, we're just going to say that our supporting evidence is mechanisms by which coffee raises cholesterol and how different types of coffee affect cholesterol. So here we've answered the questions how and why. So we're talking about the how, how when we're talking about the different types of coffee affecting our cholesterol and we're talking about the why through um, why is cholesterol raised when you're drinking coffee and this is answered through the mechanisms by which coffee raises cholesterol. And you always want to make sure that these points relate back to our main idea that coffee is bad. So when you're writing your essay, you always want to relate these two points back to why coffee is bad. So you're going to want to do the same thing for why coffee stains your teeth and why coffee gives you bad breath. So again, you want to make sure that you have supporting arguments for everything and you want to make sure that these supporting arguments relate back to your main idea of why coffee is bad. And now we can move on to the outline process. 
So the outline is really just a more linear way to show your ideas about your essay. In this case, you want to take all of your ideas, all of your main points, and write them all, uh, write them all down in a more linear fashion. And you're going to be including your supporting evidence as well. So in the case of raising my cholesterol, We want to add in the mechanisms as well as the different types. And then we want to also fill these out for the bad breath and the staining your teeth arguments as well. And so this comes to the conclusion of the pre-writing process. It might seem like it takes a really long time to do, but it makes your essay easier to write and it helps your content to flow better. So stay tuned for our upcoming podcasts on drafting, revising, proofreading, and publishing. Thank you. Have a good day.